What's good you guys, it's Lifestyle from LifestyleDidit.com and in today's video I'm going to be showing you what distortion can do for your mix. Let's get straight into it. Alright, so I'm going to be giving three examples of what distortion can do on your mix with your lead instruments, your melodies, a hi-hat, and an 808. You could use it anywhere, but these are the three I'm going to be showing you on because there's some pretty cool tricks you can do. So let's jump straight into it first with the hi-hat. So with hi-hats, I like to use distortion a lot of the time to beef up a hi-hat if it sounds kind of too thin or it doesn't sound like it has body to it. I'll add distortion to kind of give it a bit of grittiness and make it sound like it has more punch and thickness to it. So we're going to just solo the hi-hat. I'm going to take the distortion off and this is what it sounds like by itself. And then with it on. So you'll see it adds a bit of body. You can hear it adds a bit of body. And if I show you on an EQ, we'll do before and after again. But come over here without it. And watch when I add it. Watch around here. See, we even got some down here around 300. That wasn't there before. You can hear it start to come in. So distortion is adding harmonic content to sounds, right? Saturation does the same thing. Distortion's a bit more aggressive on it. So I'm using distortion for just this video because I want to go over that. I'll make a saturation video. But you saw how just adding a bit of distortion to the hi-hat added some body to it, right? There's nothing going on down here. When we add the distortion, we could see some movement. We get some frequencies down here. So what you could use this for is to beef up your hi-hats a bit. If you have the beat going and you want more punch, I went over this in one of my other videos that hi-hats can add a lot of punch to your kicks and a lot of snap to your snare since they fall in each other's realm. And if you have a very punchy, nice hi-hat that has a lot of click to it and bite, it can accent your kick and your snare. So you always want to make sure that you're gain staging correctly. So when we turn it off, probably about negative 15, negative 14 area, turn it on. Same area, but you hear that the hi-hat got a little bit thicker. So let's go over to an 808. It's going to be kind of the same thing. We're going to use a different distortion. We're going to use the blood overdrive for this one. These are free that come with FL. And I'm going to show you what it sounds like before and after. So I'm just going to bring up an EQ and show you what this 808 sounds like alone. So it's nice. It already has a bit of that mid-range to it. But if I wanted to add more, I wanted to get some frequencies moving up around here, around, you know, 1300, around 600. I go in here and I have this blood overdrive. It's NFL. I'm just going to turn it on. I already have a setting accepted. And I'm going to make sure after that my gain staging is correct. So before and after is the same volume. But just go ahead and check this out. So this is off. If we turn it on. You obviously hear it, but you see that all this gets accented more and it creates upper harmonics. So we're hearing it a lot louder. We're going to hear it on our phones. We're going to hear it on laptops. The car is going to vibrate a lot more because it's being able to register the higher harmonics instead of just the low ones. And then if we do before and after, it's probably around negative 11. And then I'm going to turn it on. First we get that click. So don't pay attention to that. Let's let that reset. And we're still around negative 11, but it's way louder because now we're diving into upper harmonic content with the distortion. So you'll see that you can get your 808s or your kicks louder without changing the volume because you're introducing harmonic content and upper frequencies at a higher register that our ears perceive louder. So the last thing we're going to do is like a cool little trick you could do with your melodies. So if I go over here, this is going to be a pad, for example. This is the pad I have. So it's a nice pad nice and smooth but let's say we want to add some type of texture so I just duplicated it and then threw it into its own track I added a crazy amount of distortion to it then I added a parametric EQ and I did like a telephonic effect and then I added a reverb so we get this sound we can make this sound however we want so that sounds pretty cool right let's take a little bit more out all right, let's start to bring this in. You can start to hear it already. So that sounds cool. It's a bit overbearing. It's a bit too loud. So if I bring it down to maybe about here, let's go ahead and listen. Let's do before and after. Before. Thank you. 
So I just added this cool little layer under it that kind of sounds like beach water or something like the shoreline. And it just gives it a different vibe. And you could do that with anything. Guitars, pianos, you can just get kind of creative with adding a lot of distortion and then parallel processing it back in. There's so many cool things you could do with it. Harmonic content for your 808s and for your hi-hats, beefing them up. And then melodies, you can create different sounds that you could layer back in to make it thicker, more interesting, give it another tone underneath. Endless possibilities. So if you did like this video, leave a thumbs up. You guys can follow me on all social medias at Lifestyle Did It. Make sure to hit my site, lifestyledidit.com for everything else. While this video's up, use the code PLUS25, P-L-U-S-25 for 25% off the whole site. Beats, drum kits, vocal tags, everything. While this video is posted, I will have that up. So go in the bio, make sure to use the discount code PLUS25 all over the site. Make sure to subscribe to your boy, push notifications. Thanks.